Mariam and Mastula have always been inseparable. They are each other's confidant and support system. Growing up, they saw their parents work hard to provide for them. They had a happy life, full of love and laughter. However, one fateful night their world turned upside down when a fire broke out in their home in the middle of the night. As they were fast asleep, a short circuit in the wiring caused a spark, and before they knew it their entire house was engulfed in flames. Despite the flames raging in the house, the girls' parents were able to get them to safety and return to the burning house to try salvaging anything they could. Tragically, they never came back out. Mariam and Mastula sustained severe burns all over their bodies. They were in immense pain and their bodies to this date still ooze water and pus because they didn't get the required medication. In this video, we bring you their full story and also request you to help them financially to get better education and the necessary surgeries recommended by doctors. Hi everyone, we are going to see these two children who got electrocuted or burnt while in the house with their parents, but unfortunately the parents died instantly and the kids got burnt as you're going to see. I'm Fausta Ritano, the Lord Councillor Mark in the West and the Director of Mercy for Life Africa. So grateful that we are here at Valley Side Academy you are to, meet, to meet our dear teacher and our dear children, Mastula and Mariam. We are so really happy that they're in class and they're coping up. So teacher, how do you see that children, those two children? The way I'm seeing them, there are some malfare, yeah. unless they, uh, there was a fact that they, one of them never wanted to come to school because for her she said it, that children will laugh at her mm -hmm. uh, because the, the body is not in a good condition. Mm -hmm. yeah, but at first she was like that and then she has been coping up with her friends. What have you done for sure for these two children that they are now gaining the confidence? Okay, we as teachers, we have to do very many things when we are with those kids. First of all, we have to counsel them. We have to guide them. We call them and we talk with them. Then after, we also come to these ones and we also tell them that you should not do this to this and such a person. Because that means they do get special attention from your yes, teacher. Yes, we always talk so with them. Thank you so much, teacher. Welcome, well done. Maybe they can be taken for maybe surgery. No surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Because for them, they are feeling shy. They are seeing the skin of the other because they, they are, it is good, but for others, it is not in a good condition. So you have to help them, mostly right. in education, clothing, yes. eats. Please, we are kindly asking for your help to help these children, especially with their education and their creams, to help their body. I pray that these children smile again because they no longer smile. Not so much, 
That's how our dear friends of Massive for Vice, we are calling upon for your hope. These beautiful girls, they need surgeries, different surgeries. They need an injection every month for 350, that's $100 each. They don't have that money. And they need good housing. Regardless of the situation, you're beautiful. You beautiful. So we're waiting. Good thing are you? You feel shy with you. My daughter called Pamela. Pamela, I'm to call you. This is you're beautiful. Can you give me a Can you know it's my phone? Can you you Can you know it's my phone? Can you know it's my phone? Can you know it's my phone? Can you know it's my phone?